said. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me, anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. Be so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think? They'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This cooperation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are ah, its heart. People interested in the cooperation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. It's time we said stop! Before the sixth extinction wipes us all out! Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. 
Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Helmet. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Helma, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. 
Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's heard. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Can we meet? You lost, honey? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Got a good memory for faces. Here for a good time. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come round. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Scare away any customers, and you're out. My, what a sweet little face you have. Feast your eyes on me. Mom, hey, Tell got a little problem. Climb stiff, yeah? <laughs> Money. Tell the girls at the door. Come on. Well, then you can go home. <laughs> 4 a.m. last night, 
Gina and me sitting at the bar. And she's right on about the banks. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to sit back here. Let it lie. Judy's about strays go take care of your guest Sus, we're not done here oh yeah we fucking are you just don't give up do you got nothing more to say to each other thought i made that clear or was i just too subtle for you what was that all about everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn Neither you fly high or sink into quicksand. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. went meaning you did talk to her i know how you fucked up got all your doom bus killed like a real pro you played your part in this fiasco too Heist would never gotten off the ground without you messing in her BD. You two hazed me for fuck's sake. Both of you. Whole thing stank. Said it from the start. Really want to pull the victim card. Can't see a single scratch on you. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Okay. Let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clept during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. Might know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. And where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. What's that? It's a dollhouse. Sounds vaguely familiar. That where they tailor code things to your fetishes and whatnot? Client subconscious is the script. Doll stars in it. No memory of it after, though, luckily. Thank Christ for that. Wait, mean to say she's a doll? Hmm. Saved up for that behavior chip a while, too. 
Ev was good. Real good. Had regulars booked up weeks in advance. Nobody lasts long in a gig like that, though. Hence the heist. Figures. Think she might have gone back there? Said it'd be safer than here. God knows why. Got everything I need for now. Thanks. I'll look in on the place. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? up one day looking like this this is real life not no fairy tale that demands sacrifice it's hard work never easy you don't i've always been what are you staring at you got something to say say it uh Heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity, won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. Might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. Guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses its share of cost, too. Why, looking to invest? No, just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by, that's all I'll say. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot? Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first, just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflow with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. In a city tingling with desire, Uh, heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity, won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Forget Mom, Evelyn. What a sweet admin. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Gotten virtues off street dealers that were light years, CRISPR. Congrats. No one cares. Apart from Judy. Oh, she loved your feedback.
an end. I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day I have to. Dead chick drags me around a cat house on wild horses. So having a grand old time. And Sako and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corpse leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka. She could have done better. This whole situation's bent Three, over. Two, Cheeks spread four. wide. Time for your local news. You think Judy's lying? Violence Why? A little something called intuition. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Eyewitness accounts point to inter-clan disputes. Attacks on unaffiliated persons has not exceeded the average. However, in an abundance of caution, the NCP... Where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled, and maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure, you never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now, 
Bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Interesting. Is that normal or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Don't worry. Go eat all your grown-up toys will be safe with us. Thanks. We hope you enjoy your stay. choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Hi, I'm Sky, and you must be Valerie. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. You just gonna talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, 
they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. Come to terms? Sure, let me just curl up on the floor and wait for... <laughs> whatever. Give up. That's what you're saying. You're scared. Because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. Then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in dreamland. I just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What I've been through... Tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. Wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity. The futile struggle before. These terrify you. <sighs> so what now? Now. You find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. I keep up with everything that's changing. You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you got a kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Afterlife. What's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Gotta say, that wasn't what I expected. I was hoping for thrills, not some gloomy, soul searching debate. Look, baby, I don't decide what happens in here. Your subconscious drives everything. <laughs> Next time, remind me to tell my subconscious to go fuck itself. Um, just don't tell anyone about this, okay? I came here to talk to you, Sky, not some sobby algorithm. Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems. Their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. 
People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you, your Eddies, and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area, booth two, I think. Thanks. See, you turned out to be useful after all.